Nano Bubble Water from Japan. Today we will be exploring one of the leading technologies of Japan. In particular, we have a technology called Nano Bubble Water. What you are seeing on the monitor right now are raw oysters. This Nano Bubble Water is being used to treat these oysters. You may have seen at the beginning of this video where both saltwater fish and freshwater fish are able to live together in this nano bubble water. Also, today it has been reported that this wonder water has a great potential for the medical field. Can nano bubbles cure cancer? Nano bubbles have many potential applications in many different fields. This technology can put oxygen or ozone gas into water as tiny nano sized bubbles. Today they are about to announce the new technology of nanobubbles and its potential. As you can see, many people from the media and other interested parties await the scientific findings of this new technology. They have reported today the results of the effectiveness of nanobubbles on cancer cells. Emeritus Professor Mano said when we used 1% oxygen nanobubble water on the cancer cells, we were able to reduce 70% of the cancer cells in our preliminary study. This is a great finding and we must look further into the potential of this amazing technology. This technology was actually introduced approximately three years ago at the Aichi Expo. There was an unusual fish tank that amazed so many visitors. Snapper and carp were swimming together in the same body of water which is impossible in the wild. The answer to this secret is the oxygen nanobubbles. The inventor that is behind this technology is Mr. Kaneo Chiba, who is the head researcher of Rail Research Company Limited in Miyagi Prefecture, Japan. Mr. Chiba is the pioneer of this technology that made the application possible. This is the tank that was displayed at the Aichi Expo. As of today, in the nanobubble water, all types of fish have lived together for nearly three years and counting without any problem. They are very healthy and even grow faster than if they were in their natural environment. <laughs> Mr. Chiba's background was to develop the technology to clean wastewater from manufacturers and sewers. He wanted to use the sterilization power of ozone by making it into tiny bubbles. After making the ozone nanobubbles and cleaning the water, he discovered a very interesting phenomenon. He explains that at the end of the sewage line after the treatment of the water, plants started to grow wildly. Also after treating the well water to use for fish and clam farming, they became very healthy. Mr. Chiba says that the smaller the bubbles, the harder to destroy, and the longer it will stay in the water. This pink colored water is the ozone nanobubble water. This is actually well water and this is the machine that creates the nanobubbles. This water is actually drinkable. The reporter says that it's salty like seawater but refreshing and unusual. Mr. Chiba says this water is being used to treat periodontal disease and oral ulcers, and it's also very effective for sterilization. Normal bubbles with a diameter of 1 20th of a millimeter are reduced to super tiny sized bubbles by applying high pressure and high temperature. How small are nano bubbles? If you line up 10,000 nanobubbles, it will still be shorter than 1 millimeter. Nano is equal to the fraction 1 over 1 billion. This size cannot be detected even with a microscope. Based on what we know in physics, such a small bubble cannot remain in water. Though it's supposed to disappear, they still remain in the water. We found that there are small ions around the nanobubbles which makes it stable inside the water, says Dr. Masayoshi Takahashi, chief researcher of the National Institute of Advanced Industrial Science and Technology of Japan. This is an oyster processing plant in Miyagi Prefecture, Japan. This plant was the first to implement the use of ozone nanobubbles for processing three years ago. Prior to implementation of this new technology, 
the oysters were sterilized with chlorine and rinsed with seawater. But now they use ozone nanobubble water for packaging. The owner of this company explains, This nanobubble water makes an excellent treatment and yet retains the original taste. And we are really happy since we have reduced the number of customer complaints by 80%. This is another food plant that uses the nanobubble technology. This company is Shiraken Kamaboko, also in Miyagi Prefecture, Japan. They use oxygen nanobubbles inside the surimi. Just look at the elasticity. After giving it a taste, the reporter confirms the delicious flavor. Nanobubbles have so many different applications and the study in each area is being done, one of them being the medical field. Emeritus Professor Yoshihiro Mano from Tokyo Medical and Dental University used cancer cells of cervix uteri to compare the regular culture solution and solution with nanobubbles and cultivated it for 24 hours. He explains, with the regular solution, there was no change within 24 hours, but with the nanobubble solution, approximately 70% of the cancer cells were destroyed. The regular culture solution on the left and the 1% nanobubble water on the right, approximately 850,000 cancer cells were reduced to 820,000 on the left and to 250,000 on the right with the nanobubbles. A 70% reduction within 24 hours is significant. What I think is that cancer cells are abnormal cells and this creates abnormal activities. However, nanobubbles have the ability to make abnormal into normal. Therefore, the reduction in cancer cells was possible. This study has only just begun. Even though we are at the early stages of this study, the potential of this technology is enormous. We hope that this technology will contribute to the eradication of cancer someday.